Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for connecting with me. I feel so grateful and appreciative to be able to share with you all in this way. In this video, I have an inspiration to talk about what is, what is the purpose of so much darkness and literally going to what can feel like a hell realm. I, feel, I was in a hell realm for probably really, really deep for two and a half to three months, maybe a little bit longer. And I was still in a hellish reality for even two months after that. So suffice it to say that those five months were the longest five months of my life. I mean, three seconds might as well have been three lifetimes, right? And when we're super high and connected, you know, three lifetimes could probably feel like three seconds. So it's just amazing how time becomes so distorted at both levels of consciousness, lower and higher. And it really is a timeless state in so many ways. Because it just feels like this permanence, this lowness has this permanent feeling to it, this heaviness and this immovability. Like it just, there's nothing you can do. You, you can't, for me it came down to the point there was no pill I was going to take. There were no drugs. There was no workout, exercise, diet, cleanse. Meditation, nothing was working for me. It was just inescapable darkness that was just on me, in me, consuming me. And oftentimes, I would just ask, why? What is this all about? I just felt so, like maybe just unlucky or I was obviously very desperate. I remember the thoughts going through my head were like, well, I had a good run. I had a good 30 years. I had a lot of fun. And I, I used to compare my situation to make myself feel better. I used to compare it to like, well, a lot of people die young. People die in war. There's people in other countries that haven't, you know, I've lived such a good life. I should be thankful for just my 30 years. And I, because I felt like I was permanently going to be in this state and I felt like I was either going to commit suicide or just go crazy and that there was just no way out. And I just remember the one redeemable thought, the one redeemable feeling that stuck with me through the entirety of going through this hell realm experience was if I ever get out of this, I am going to help other people who are feeling this way. I'm going to be an example. I'm going to be somebody who is there to help pull them out. And I'm going to share what I have learned from being in this state so that others may gain, you know, the insights that I wish I could have went back and told myself. Like if the version of me now could go back to who I was two years ago and have a real heart to heart, that's what, that's what I want to create and that's what I'm trying to do through these videos and my blog. And I think if we're in this state, the one saving grace that we can really hold on to and really seek assurance from and trust and faith from is everything is happening the way it has to happen and it cannot happen any other way everything is God and this is happening 
so that you can lead a life of service and so that you can develop compassion and cultivate this understanding of what is actually possible to experience the threshold of pain you're you're going to a place to where you didn't even know you could suffer as much as you're suffering you didn't know you could feel as much pain as you're feeling and this is happening so that when you do get through this because you will when you get through this you're going to have more compassion and a more service oriented perspective on life if you guys could have seen me in my 20s in my late 20s even very self-centered all about me egotistical really probably narcissistic in many ways um no not probably <laughs> that's a certainty I'm, that was me trying to deflect a little you know but and it and if it wasn't for the lows i experienced and going through the depths of suffering and pain and literally going into hell and just burning there for months you know i can't imagine it happening any, any other way now that's happened but i would not be remotely the same person i look at the path i was on and the track i was on and i am so grateful for what happened and for the lows that i experienced because it allowed me to connect on a deeper level with suffering and pain and with humanity it really allowed me to connect with humanity and and i just feel like if you're going through this it's so that you can shed those parts of you that didn't think something like this was possible and maybe you went through your life and you looked at those who were suffering and going through pain not with disdain or anything but maybe you didn't understand it as much you know but now that you have gone through it you're going through it when you come out of this you're going to have a completely different perspective on people going through pain and life in general you're going to find out how deep your being goes what i mean by that is how much resilience and fortitude and strength that you actually do have cuz this will take you in a lot of cases to to the bottom i'm just feeling into you know coming home trying to go for a walk forcing myself to go for a walk making it literally guys to the end of the street and just ah oh, i can't do that and just turning around everything's spinning i just i was disassociating from reality and it was just so debilitating and then going back in my room and then getting it literally in the fetal position and crying and telling myself just make it one more day one more day this has to end it, it, it can't get worse than this and i and i had so many rock bottom points you know thinking i had a brain tumor for so long because i was so ill so sit, going to get a cat scan but being having so much of this energy the kundalini energy coming through me and me not even knowing it was kundalini and just being severely depressed cuz it was bringing up all my darkness and just literally not being able to walk into the clinic to get an MRI like writhing on the cement crying in front of my mom saying just take me to the emergency room just and just looking at her and her disbelief and sh just shock and her utter confusion and not knowing what to do or what to make of her son in such a desperate place and coming out on Thanksgiving day and just laying on the floor and crying in front of my parents telling them if there was just a button I could push to end all this I would do it a million times over 
And you know, those weren't the only ones. And my God. And this was something that I never encountered pain or suffering to that, even close to that degree growing up, you know. Just normal stuff, right? Normal stuff. But through the pain, through the darkness, you could, from being a very self-centered, egotistical person, I feel like I've come more into compassion and love and like openness and trust and faith and connection to the divine, connection to everything, all beings, to the earth, to all of you, to animals, to everything, you know? And it was so severely dark and so awful and my old self would probably come back and want to slap me for saying this, but it was very, very worth it. And it's something that I would do. I even have to take a deep breath before I say this, but I would do it again, you know, if I had to for, for what has awakened within me. And if you're going through a really dark time, you know, that's what I can tell you is to just surrender. There's not, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you and say, you just got to do this, this, and this, and it's poof, it's, you're going to be happy again. <laughs> There's a thing called God's timing. And that's the main thing that I wish I could have come into sooner was a relationship with God. And when I say God, I mean the intelligence of life, of the universe. You could say your higher self the divine, whatever resonates for you. When I was going through this early on, I was still a pretty rigid atheist. I was very closed off. I was very in my head. And this experience has a way of really making those of us who can't let go of the intellect and the mind, it has a way of making those of us who are super attached to that really suffer. And that would be my number one piece of advice to you if you're going through a very dark time is to sink into your heart center, to open yourself to something higher and to surrender into the darkness as much as you can and to be gentle with yourself and to nourish yourself, to try to love yourself and to know you're not letting anyone down and don't feel guilty or none of that. Just let go of all of that. Um, I hope that was somewhat helpful. I know it was a little rambly, but I just felt inspired to hop on and share that with you guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.